Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Today I'll be working on my Fukien tea or Fujian tea or Carmona. The Fukien tea is a new species for me. I've never had one before. So today I'm going to give it its first pruning. I'll spin it around so you can see it from all angles. Whenever I get a new species of tree, I always look up the climate where the tree originated from. So the Fukien uh, tea comes from the Fukien province in China, and it's a subtropical climate. So in the winter time, they go down to seven or eight degrees Celsius. So it never goes below freezing. And then in the summertime, it climbs quite high to as high as 45 degrees Celsius. At the present moment, my Fukien tea is basically dormant for the winter. My plant room is fairly cool, especially at nighttime. The only time it warms up is if it's sunny out. It'll warm up to 20, 25, sometimes 30 degrees Celsius. So, But that's very rare in the winter that we get sunshine. So basically, I'm just happy with the tree, staying dormant over the winter. And then when springtime comes, I can put it out here in the greenhouse and it should start growing quite well. The winter rest period is very important for the tree. You can't expect to be forcing it to grow all the time when that's just not its natural nature. It needs that cool rest period in the winter and then when the warmer weather and the brighter light comes in the summer it'll start growing. I won't be repotting the tree today. I'm going to wait till springtime comes and when I see new buds forming all over the tree then I'll repot it. This tree is a dwarf variety of the Fukien tea. It has extra small leaves on it, which is really nice. It should make a nice bonsai. I'm going to begin the pruning work on the tree. So I'm taking a look at the tree, looking for branches that are out of place. And the first one that stands out to me is you can see there's a vertical one here. There's a horizontal branch here, and then off the top of that branch is a vertical one that sticks straight up. It doesn't flow in with the design of the tree. It's getting very thick because it's growing vertical and it's getting its own canopy on that branch. The main leader of the tree, if you follow the trunk line up, comes up here, up here, and this is the leader. So this branch over here is taking over as a new leader for the tree. And it's very awkward. If you were to grow that as the leader, the trunk would come up over to the left-hand side and then straight up. So it'd be very angular. And I like my trees to be nice and flowing. So I'm going to have to prune that vertical branch right off. So that'll be my first step in pruning this tree. All right, so this is the branch here. You can see it coming up. So I'm just going to rough cut it off for now. And these will grow from cuttings. I don't know if they will this time of the year, but so here I go. I'm going to prune this branch off now. It's a big cut. There I go, just like that. So now I'm going to come in and clean that stub up right in here. I'm trying to make it kind of flush so it will heal over nicely. I'm having a look at the tree once again. So following my trunk line up, the apex is looking good up here. Some nice branches coming off. Now, the next one that stands out to me is right in here. There's a very thick branch and I have a skinnier one coming off here. And this one is just getting too thick. It's actually thicker than the apex or the main trunk line here. So that one, there's two possibilities for it. If you really like the branch, you can keep it, just reduce the length, take the vigor out of that branch, and then grow the rest of the tree so this becomes thicker, and this one stays the same size, basically. So you let the rest of the tree grow and thicken up, and you try and keep your thickest branch kind of skinny. And that way, eventually, they balance each other. So I'm looking at that branch. I have three branches growing from that one area. There's one 
to the left here, one to the right, and then that thick branch coming up the middle. So I think, looking at the tree, I'm guessing somewhere around here is going to be my front of the tree because it kind of comes forward and the apex comes up and it's very nice in this view. If I take out that branch, it'll leave my tree looking very bare. Especially, you know, this thick branch over here kind of counteracts the lean of it. So off of that thick branch, I have a, another vertical shoot coming off of it. I don't know if you can see it in there. Right here, there's a big, strong vertical shoot coming off of it. I'm going to start by pruning that back. Here's a look at that branch. So here's that horizontal one, and then I've got this vertical part coming straight up here. So that's the branch I'm going to get rid of. So I'm going to come in here and snip it off, just like that. Now you can also see this branch is getting very long and it's very straight. It has not much movement to it. So I'm thinking of reducing the length of it. I could take it back, well, at least to here. So I'm, I'm going to take the tip off of it like that. That reduces the vigor on that. And then out of the tip, I have another kind of vertical section. I'll prune that back too. So there's that kind of vertical section coming off the end of this branch. I think. This is from another branch here. So there's, there's the structure. I've got a leaf down there, so I'm going to prune it right back to here. Like that, taking the tip off. Now, let's address this one growing up from the bottom here. Here's a look at that branch. It grows out from the trunk. It has a horizontal branch coming off of it, and then another branch that shoots kind of upwards, and it starts growing up into the other branches. So that definitely needs to be shortened. So I'm going to shorten it back to here, like that. The Fukien tea is naturally a very angular growing tree, so nothing kind of flows out. Um, all the branches come out at like 90 degrees off each other. So it gets a very kind of square or angular shaped branch structure to it. So you've got to be, you've got to try and pick the branches that flow the best and kind of manage them. You're not going to get it smooth and flowing like a maple tree. But eventually, as they get older, they will smoothen out and you'll get a really nice looking tree. And that angular kind of tip growth, that's just a characteristic of the tree and it's something, you know, you just, you just accept it, it that it's, that's the kind of tree it is. I've taken out some of the major structural flaws of the tree now. So now I'm going to mark the front of the tree and then I can do more of the refined styling on the branches. I'm looking at the tree now. So this was the front I was kind of liking over in this direction. I'm just going to rotate it around, see if there's any views I like better. No, no, I'm liking, I'm liking this view, which is kind of this view for you. I'm going to mark it. Just trying to, I think, yeah, right here. Here's the front view that I picked, somewhere around here, kind of looking between these two branches. The trunk line still has a nice slant to it. It's coming forward a bit. Yeah, I, th I think that's quite a nice view for the tree. So now I'm going to start more of the refined branch pruning. So if that is the front, I have up here, I pruned this kind of vertical branch back to a bud here, and it's still kind of interfering with this other branch behind. So I'm gonna shorten the other branch also, taking the tip off so they're not touching each other. 
There's a stub I can prune off here. An old pruning stub. There's another one down on the trunk here. Clean that up. Another one here. Now I've got off of this branch, which comes over here, I've got another vertical section to it. I'm going to take that off. So here I go, like that. There's the crows. Okay, now. Now over here, there's something funny happening. You can see there's a branch. It comes up and it kind of crisscrosses this branch. And it's very noticeable in the front view. So I'm going to take off that vertical part here, even though it's not vertical, but it's, it comes off on an angle and crosses the other branch beside it. So I, I could shorten it. I'll shorten it for now. like that and you know maybe it'll grow out this direction I can manage it there's another one sticking straight up here I don't want that one so that one's coming off like that I get that branch more horizontal so back to the front there now there's a branch here you can see this branch comes out from the tree and comes out and then this part of it cuts back straight in towards the tree. I don't want that, so I'm going to take that end off like that. So everything flows out from the trunk. Now this is a thick branch too here, this one coming out here. It's, it's too thick compared to the rest, so I've got to take some vigor out of that too. I'm going to take this one that's shooting straight up off. Don't need that. And then I may shorten it. Yes, I'm going to take the tip off here. Like that. When I look down at the tree from above, I've got to make sure that every branch has sunlight, that there's no branches, higher branches that are blocking out the ones below, that there's no branches kind of crisscrossing each other. And I do see one here. It's starting to grow over top of the branch underneath it. So I need to prune that back. I'm just looking for a point. I guess all I can do is take the tip off. Just cleaning out some dead leaves here. Okay. So the tree's looking much better now. Let's have a look at it from the front view again. I'm looking at the tree from the front now, and this branch is bothering me here. I've got kind of two very thick branches that are opposite each other. I've got this nice one. This one kind of flows. You can see the trunk comes up and it kind of has a bit of uplifting movement to it. Whereas these other ones, they're a little more horizontal. And I can't really have both of these growing from the one point. And I like this branch coming out the front better than the thick one at the back. So my decision is to take that back one off. Even this one's quite thick too. It's possible that both of them could come off, but I'm just going to take this one off for now. So here I go. So this is quite a big cut. I'll show you a view from above. This is the branch here. So you can see from the same point I have one, two, three. This is the leader. One, two, three, four branches kind of growing from 
a similar spot or are very close to the same height off of the trunk. So I've got to reduce that back. So I'm going to take this one off because I like this branch out front better. So this one's going to come off. So here I go. I'm going to come in with my branch pruners. Like that. Here's a look from the front now, and you can see it looks much better getting that thick, heavy branch off of there. I'm thinking of doing the same with the other one. It's got a nicer branch out back that's thinner. Yeah, it's just too thick uh, compared to all the other branches on the tree. If it was upright, it could be like a secondary trunk where the trunk divides into, into two, but it's not. It's a horizontal branch and it's just too thick compared to all the rest of them. So it is going off. All right, here I go. Just gotta get in there. Right like that. Big cut coming up, just like that. Now, how does it look? Yeah, so you can see that branch behind now. You can see that it's a thinner branch. It looks, looks much more elegant. I, I like that. That was a, a good choice, I think. It does leave, you know, a fair amount of scarring around that area, but that'll heal. So yeah, that front view is looking quite nice now. The tree's looking more delicate. It doesn't have those big heavy branches up there. There is a branch up here in the apex. The apex is here and there's a branch growing up from this front branch that's kind of competing with the apex. So that's got to come off. I'm just looking for anything else that's kind of bugging me. Um, maybe this one shoot in the apex here. There's an interesting branch here that kind of droops down and then goes up. Kind of a twisty branch. Quite nice. Gives it a bit of character. I can see this branch here eventually developing this shoot and pruning that one off. It would look much better. And I could probably, I could probably reduce the tip on that one. Back to here. It's a little long, so I will. Like that. Yes, that, that is looking quite nice. I think, I think I had better stop there. I think I will take the top off this one branch here. Right here. Okay. Well, I'm very happy with the little tree. I, I think it's looking quite nice. Everything's kind of in proportion now. The branches have nice placement. It's got a nice overall shape to the tree. Something I can develop. I'll spin the tree around now so you can see it from all angles. So here's the front coming around to the right hand side, right there. Coming around to the back now. There's the back. Coming around to the left hand side and back to the front. So this view right here is not bad either. It's quite a nice view. A view like this could be the front, but the trunk looks very straight in that view. It's better to have this view has a bit of an angle. Yeah, it all depends what you want in the tree. But yeah, it's, it's quite nice. It's uh, looking quite good from all views. Here's a look at all the cuttings I took off of it. I, uh, I doubt these cuttings will root in the winter time. Uh, I think I'll wait, you know, the tree will grow in spring and then I can take more cuttings off of it. It's, yeah, it's very unlikely they would root. I guess it wouldn't hurt to try, especially 
you know, a cutting like that's quite nice. I think today's pruning revealed a nice little tree there within all those branches and I've got it down to a nice structure that I can develop into the future. And that's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <music>